Solenoids by kscience.com. This here is an image of a solenoid. A solenoid is simply a coil of wires. And when a current is passed through it, a magnetic field is going to be formed inside the coil and around the coil. And the magnetic field that runs directly through the solenoid are all pointing in the same direction and they're very close to one another. The magnetic field inside the solenoid are uniform and strong. The magnetic field lines outside of the solenoid represent that of a bar magnet. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This here is a block of iron. If we put the block of iron into the middle of the solenoid, you've now got an electromagnet. The field strength inside the electromagnet is going to increase. You can see that by there being more magnetic field lines drawn and then being closer together. So this is what a simple electromagnet looks like. There's a current running through the solenoid wire and an iron nail has been placed into the solenoid. This image shows that the electromagnet acts as an induced magnet. On the outside of the solenoid, you can see more magnetic field lines being drawn around the iron bar, around the solenoid. The iron increases the magnetic strength of the solenoid. So the iron is not a magnet, but when the iron is placed inside the solenoid, which is carrying a current, the iron is now an induced magnet. It is now an induced magnet, which increases the magnetic field strength of the solenoid. Which increases the magnetic field strength of the solenoid. And the solenoid now acts as an electromagnet. Electromagnets are incredibly strong magnets. As you can see in the diagrams here, they have very strong magnetic field strengths. You can also increase the magnetic field strength of the solenoid by increasing the number of coils. So if you increase the number of coils and increase the current, you can increase the strength of the magnetic field. So what happens if you switch off the solenoid, if you have zero current running through the solenoid wires? It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Well, now you've got no current in the wire, which means you've got no magnetic fields. So now the iron bar, which was an induced magnet, is no longer a magnet. So the iron bar is no longer a magnet, which means that the electromagnet is no longer a magnet. So it no longer has the properties of magnetism. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.